Hey guys, Jerry here, and welcome back to my Better Than Wolves Let's Play slash tutorial. Um, it's night time. I have been traveling a bit, exploring a bit. I actually recorded that and ended up throwing it away because it really wasn't interesting to watch. Um, but... Ow. But to kind of briefly go over what happened, um, I got a bunch of food, some mud and some more pork chops and beef and such. I managed to find five hemp seeds. I used a bunch of my hoe durability. I have made a new iron pickaxe because the old one is kind of getting worn down. There's still a bit of use left in it, but it's starting to hurt a bit. And other than that, not really a lot happened. Like I know the area around my base pretty well now. Um, I know for a fact that there are no pumpkins anywhere near me. So I think we're gonna have to go with the route of um, focusing on getting diamonds and then going through the nether to find a village if we want to get more, much more food. Um, there's also the um, we can also try and get some chickens back home, but for now I kind of want to get some more iron at least, um, be able to make a sword and such. So I've been digging around a bit and I found this ravine here, which is basically right underneath my base. So I dug down as far as I could with my iron pickaxe, and that just so happens to be the bottom of the ravine. So, I haven't been past this point here, so I don't actually know what is out here. Um, so yeah, it's an adventure, and we're gonna explore together. Now there is a lot of water down here, which kinda does help the spawn prevention. There's also a lot of darkness. So let's just get some torches up in here. Is that more lava or... No, that's actually my... That's the other cave I have on here. That, that, that light is from torches I've placed. Interesting. And it looks as though it continues up there. Or in here, rather. Hello, Mr. Creeper. So yeah, we're just gonna deal with you. There we go. He's gone. Got a bit of niter. And still a lot of darkness. More water. But I think we can afford to get a bit of design now. I'm not hearing any hostiles at least. Or seeing any. Um there was some gold right back where my entrance was, but I kinda wanna just quickly get through here and see how far this one actually ex extends. It extends to here. Okay. But yeah, lots of water sources leaking down in here. Um, not that many mobs, fortunately for us. There was this cave in here, which I n didn't go into. Lots of darkness. The darkness. And it goes down into the uh, bottom strata there. Alright. Um, Let's see. We have all this water here. It's a nice bit of iron in the wall over here. Can we maybe reach that by standing here? Yeah, we can. Just so I don't have to swim around while digging. Keeping an eye on the the old backside there. And let's have a look. Nope, can't get up there. Just gonna get a brand new axe down here. So there's some gold there. I really don't like digging through the water, so I'm just gonna see if I can maybe block off. There we go. Now one of them is the darkest strata, but that shouldn't matter since it's an ore. I'll still be able to dig it. Let's see how much we have. Only two pieces. That's not too interesting. So, we have a natural smooth stone generator here. That's mildly interesting, but not that useful to us yet, at least. Need to get around the lava. Or above. Because my shovel. I think I brought another. 
and more darkness. Defeated. Tons of iron right here. And we're right on top of the bottom strata. And I hear a lot of mobs over here in this direction. Let us block this one off. Like that. But yeah, there's there's a lot of hostiles out there. Um let's see what is in here then. Nothing. Except for some spawnable space. Alright, more iron for us. Now we need to decide which of the um uh the uh bottom strata entrances that we actually want to explore. Which one looks the most promising? I, c I, I can't jump for love of me here. Get some of this iron ore. Get all of this iron ore. This might actually allow us to get a sword before we proceed into the bottom one. Like there's so much iron ore here. Really good news. Uh, don't dig down. <laughs> and before we go anywhere, let's just put a block there so we can jump back up. This vein just continues. Okay, let's have a look there. We have 43 pieces of iron ore already. That's insane. And But we're, on the other hand, we're also pretty much out of torches. So let's play a bit with the lava here and see if we can manage to get ourselves burnt to death. And then um, we'll go up, bank this stuff, uh, make an iron sword, and then we shall endeavor to proceed into the bottom strata. I if I have enough iron, which I might actually do, then I'm gonna make a couple of shears as well, um, because I have, do have some leather up in my um, base. If I cut that into the uh, leather pieces, then um, I'll be able to make myself a full set. So I'll get a bit more protection than the uh, the wool armor I have at the moment will give me. So yeah, I think that's a rather good plan. And that's where the gold was, my entrance is right here. If I recall correctly, I think I might actually have seen some iron ore up here as well, where the where I found the um, ravine, right there. It's a bit further down, and I don't know. Can I make a bridge going down? Let's try. All right, made it back to my little hidey hole here, and I just thought of something that's actually proving to be a problem now. Um, the latest update increased the um, amount of fuel you need to melt ore, so I don't actually have enough um, fuel to melt all this. So I'm going to have to get started on a tree farm. So yeah, diamonds are being postponed a bit, and I'm making a tree farm now. So I'm going to need a bunch of cobblestone fences here, because as always we don't really want stuff spawning inside where we uh, build a tree farm. Luckily we do have a lot of cobblestone now. I'm also gonna bank all this stuff that I don't really need right now and make some more torches. There we go. Now, tree farm. And I should probably take these hemp seeds as well and just plant them since I'm going outside anyway. Now, are there any mobs nearby that wants to eat my flesh? Oh, there's a chicken right there. I so need to get it. grab him. Uh, like finding a chicken this close to home, that's, he must have wandered here from somewhere, and he's not dead by spiders, so that's so lucky for me. Come on, chicken. Now, getting getting your first chicken to home is like one of these big, very big, uh, momentous things in Better Than Wolves, and lots of Let's Plays have had quite interesting episodes where people heard, heard around chickens and tried to to get them secured. Um, I 
don't think there's going to be any different really. Chickens have a tendency to not really want to follow people very well. But this one seems different. So yeah, I have a chicken now. And he has his own little hidey hole here with a turnstile. There we go, now I can get into him and I can feed him and everything. So I'm actually going to sacrifice one of my hemp seeds on him. And then I'll go plant the rest of them. Then hopefully I'll notice when he lays an egg. If not, then that's going to be a waste of a seed. Or she. Why do I keep saying he for every animal in Minecraft? That's kind of disturbing really, especially the ones that lay egg and give birth to babies and give milk. I need to stop doing that. Anyway, um, extra hemp planted. There we go. Now since we are we are actually pretty good on food and we have a chicken now, um, I think it might actually be time to consider making a... Um, as you can see we've nearly burnt an entire bird slug and we barely melted one iron over here. So, that's right, tree farm. I need to fence off the space quickly. Let's see how big do we want it. Uh, let's just grab all the, all the area we can. Land grab. There we go. Now we need to, of course, to light up around it. And we need to get rid of this tree. Mainly because it's, yeah, it's not part of the tree farm, so it shouldn't be there. And let's see, let's put a torch there, a torch there. Then a couple here in the middle. There we go, tree farm. Um, that means we can also get rid of this piece of fence here. On this weeds. And I need to get get my saplings. Now, I'm assuming the stuff can't spawn in there. I'm ho I'm really hoping that stuff can't spawn in there. I didn't really give it a lot of room, but uh, like, or rather, I put a bunch of torches in there, so I'm hoping that's enough. Yeah, it should be. Now we have a bunch of skeletons and other nasties wanting to hurt us. That's not good. Let's see, did I manage to actually secure an area that's a nice size? Nah, it's just barely one block too short for a nice row of these saplings here. And there's of course this tree in the way which I kind of want to remove. So let's hope I'm not going to get shot while doing this. Actually I'm going to leave that one block there because that's gonna, it's giving me cover. Alright, they didn't spot me. Good. Now, we can't bone meal these saplings, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to wait for them to grow up. Um, there should be enough light here that they can grow pretty much 24-7. So that's gonna help us a bit. Um, the birch woods are the ones we really want to grow fast, but the, of course, the, the oak wood are kinda, of, the oak wood is known for its very lenient growth uh, rules. And also one oak log fits perfectly with being able to melt one ore, so um, yeah. It's it's pretty convenient. Um, too bad we don't have enough oak wood. Oh, we have a birch tree already. That's neat. But yeah, as, you, as you can see we really need to start lighting up the area outside. Our now he's gonna shoot me and he's gonna hit the leaves. So if I stay here, nah, he can hit me. That's annoying. Ow, yeah, he can hit me. Let's go and hide. Now he should be as close as he will get. Yeah, he's right around the corner here. I'm taking a bit of hit, a couple of hits doing this. That's annoying. But 
but he did drop a bow. Which is something I didn't have before. So it might actually be worth the um, the damage I took. It doesn't have a lot of durability though. Um, which is a shame. But it is a bow. And spiders haven't actually spawned too much in this area, so I'm fairly low on string. But yeah, we need to keep an eye on those. Oh, I didn't actually get the top block there. Is there any more skeletons out here? I do not know. But let's see if we can finish this tree so the leaves can start decaying. And then we'll... yeah. Alright, it does seem, it seems good. Now I reckon if I make torches out of the rest of my coal here, I might have enough to actually light up pretty much this entire island that I'm living on. Which will mean that all mobs who want to get to me have to spawn on another island and then travel across the water. Which hopefully should give me plenty of warning. That's what I'm counting on at least. So we'll see if that works. Now since we have a bit of wood... Uh, cut this up. Now let's see what can we do with that. We can... We can, we can make sticks, but I don't really want to make sticks out of birch wood. I prefer like spruce or one of the cheaper woods for that. I consider bir uh, birch wood the most expensive wood. Simply because of the um, the best burn time. And it also it's also pretty nice looking for building. But other than that, um, yeah, plenty of torches now. I thought of something I wanted to do, but now I've completely forgotten about it. Which is a shame. Real shame. I actually have some extra iron ore here. Put that in there as well. Oh, a slime managed to get on land for once. How unusual. But yeah, um, there's not really a lot going on right now. Um, I completely forgot about the uh, the whole burn time change when I was um, trying to, um, yeah, or mining iron ore and saying, hey, we can just melt this quickly. So, well, we... But on the other hand, we did set up a small tree farm here. Of course, we're going to expand it. Um, once daytime comes, I'm going to try and light up as much of this island as I can. So we actually have a, a safe haven, proper safe haven. And then, yeah, once I've actually managed to meld all this iron ore, um, we can start looking for diamonds. So yeah. Until next time, I'm Jerry and this has been my Better Than Rules Let's Play slash tutorial. Bye!